Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel, dedicated to all things gaming in virtual reality. I've received a mysterious cardboard box in the post from the good people at ProTube, so we're going to take a peek inside and see what's what. Let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. Before we get into it, the channel is growing very quickly at the moment, so if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider subscribing and maybe dropping a like on this video. You can also support the channel on Patreon or by heading over to my shop on tshirtstudio.com and purchasing some of my stylish merchandise. Thank you. Now I have to admit I've been absolutely beside myself with excitement since this box arrived, but I had to get my review of the VR cricket game The Final Overs Done, which you can watch here on the pop-out banner. So here I am. Here's the box, let's get it open and see what's inside. A message from Igor, ProTube's French Bulldog mascot. Oh wow, look at these. Carbon fibre replacement tubes for my Chrome MagTube. Oh, I can't wait to get them installed. But this is the really amazing thing. This is what I've been dying to try out. This is the Force Tube VR haptic module. It recreates the feeling of recoil when firing a weapon in VR. Enough talk, let's get this Pro Tube upgraded. This is my old mag tube. I bought it more than four years ago and I call it Trigger's Broom. Any fans of English comedy should get that reference straight away. Anytime anything broke, it got replaced and it has been a faithful servant, but it's time for a full upgrade. Shall we do? A bit of magic? What do you think? The new carbon tubes look very sleek. I also have the Pro Tube Pro straps attached to the mag cups and that Force Tube VR stock just finishes off the look beautifully. It certainly looks the part. I think everyone can agree on that. Pretty much the perfect Pro Tube Mag Tube Pro Strap Force Tube VR setup, <laughs> don't you think? Getting the Force Tube to work is a doddle. ProTube provide a Bluetooth dongle if your PC doesn't already have Bluetooth. Just plug it in and wait for the chime to say it's installed. Tap the ProTube logo on the Force Tube to turn it on. The red LED indicates the microcontroller is on. The second LED will flash until connected to a compatible game. After that, it will be steady when connected. On your PC, open Settings, Devices, then click the plus button add Bluetooth or other device. Choose Bluetooth and your force tube will appear here. Click to connect. Easy. On your Quest or Quest 2, go to Settings, Experimental Features, Bluetooth, Pair Device, pick your force tube from the list and you're also done. Very simple. Once you start a game up, just quickly go into Settings and make sure the force tube option is ticked. In Onward, click the haptic setting to access a submenu and enable the force tube option. There is also a companion app you can download that allows you to test the Force Tube VR or to just show off what it can do to your friends without having to fire up a VR game. Enough of the science, let's go shoot some bitches. I'm going to play Quest 2 version of Onward, then I'll be using my Valve Index for the PC VR version of Pavlov, and finally I'm going to play Contractors using Virtual Desktop. That should just about cover every scenario. Excited? I know I am, so let's dive straight in. Right, let's see what this baby can do. This is the three round burst M16, so... Wow, that feels incredible. Really solid kick. Oh crap. Oh, this is going to be fun. Hit the fun button and don't let go till everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. 
<laughs> oh, I feel like chucking it down my trousers and just pulling the trigger. Full auto. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> oh, you're getting the kick and the rumble here. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Oh my god! <laughs> this is fucking crazy! So here we are in contractors, I have the M1014 shotgun, which if you've played Population 1 you will recognise. Now, I haven't played much contractors because The forced feedback through the haptic module is very one-dimensional. It's not at all like Pavlov or Onward. It is just basically a kick. Plus as well, if enemies are shooting at you, that also feeds back. It can be a bit disconcerting. So... Though it says that Contractors is fully supported, I would say it's not optimised perfectly. It does feel good, but it doesn't have the subtlety of Onward or Pavlov. Okay, let's go and finish this run. There you go, contractors. Firstly, I apologise for all the schoolgirl giggling. <laughs> Using the force tube VR just brings out the child in anyone. As soon as you feel that initial kick of the rifle in your hands, you are just reduced to a kid using a stick for a rifle while playing war games in the schoolyard. The immersion is absolute. The feeling of the pro tube in your hands and the kick back into your shoulder makes you feel like a soldier in the middle of a firefight, without the worry of sudden death, of course. And don't get me started on that Barrett 50 Cal in Pavlov. Just the best feeling in the game ever. <laughs> oh my God. So let's take a deep breath here and dial it back a bit. I want to talk about pricing, then pros and cons of this amazing little unit. Price first. In the UK, if you buy the full MagTube and ForceTube VR together, the price is £450. But you do get upgraded to full carbon MagTubes for free. Bonus. The ForceTube VR unit by itself is £340 and is an upgrade for your existing ProTube. That is expensive. Now, I want to talk about the downside and the upside of owning a ForceTube VR. Downsides first. Number one. It is expensive and there is no hiding it. A full carbon pro tube, force tube VR, is one and a half times more expensive than a base Oculus Quest 2. Two, it isn't supported by all games yet, though the list is growing rapidly. Three, a pro tube mag tube is a niche market and the force tube VR is a niche within a niche, if that makes sense to you. So, what are the upsides then? Total immersion, rounding a corner and onward, and unleashing hell. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. 
is something you actually have to experience in VR. Two, the haptic feedback as the gun kicks into your shoulder. You are an elite soldier carrying out a dangerous op in the Bakara market in Somalia or dueling with terrorists aboard an ocean going cargo ship. This is what that level in Call of Duty Modern Warfare would have felt like if you could step into the boots of Soap and his SAS pals. Three, I have been criticised for saying this before because function always outweighs form, especially in VR. But look at it, it's a talking point. Anybody who walks into your house and sees it will go, ooh, what's that? Guaranteed. I know it's expensive, I know it's a niche market, but the level of want for this one item is so high, I'm thinking of going into hiding so I don't have to send it back to Estelle and the gang at ProTube. It's that good. Sadly, that's it for today. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun making content for my channel. This has been a special week for me and I hope that enthusiasm shines through in the video. Thank you to the guys at ProTube. This has been a great week. If you enjoyed this content, then please support the channel by subscribing, most importantly, dropping a like on this video. And remember, you can now support the channel on Patreon or maybe purchase some Mac and VR branded merchandise at tshirtstudio.com. I can also be found on Twitch, where I stream most days on my pal Surgical Gaming's channel, usually about 1 p.m. GMT. Check out all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. All right, let's put that on single shot. Oh, that scope is so good. Oh man, this is so good. Fuck, incredible.